All right, so y'all remember uh, Tia Maori, Tia and Tamara? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so Tia has been through some things, and she was on Hoda and Jenny, Jenna, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was talking about my her marriage divorce. was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm, And at the end of that curriculum and at the end, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. So that's basically, you know, how I'm looking at it now. And I feel like people look at when they look at marriage, that success equals longevity. But no, at the end of the day, it's, are they happy? Um, are they thriving? Are they growing? And I, I feel like that is what is most important. It's not about staying in something because however long you are in that situation, mm-hmm. that equals success. It's about really, again, are you happy? Because life is really short. What did she say? Are y'all happy? Marriage is... Mm-hmm. about happy. Divorce is graduation from marriage. Yeah. I So... When you Th- said it like that, that was just <laughs> there's a couple of things the most that asinine statement. <laughs> there's a couple of things that's always kind of um, made me caution what she talks about to me, uh, Tia, <laughs> because I know that Tamara has always been very selective about the roles that she chooses, and the other sister was not. You talking about the game? The game, and I feel like um, uh, eventually, what you want in your heart. Even if you think it's just acting or you think it's just a, a job to you, it eventually comes out in your life. Like what you have in your heart comes so out in your life. She was a mirror like your boy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Like Terrence Howard, she was, like, she was in a mirror like your boy. Like. So, so what, what about her concept of divorce as graduation from marriage? Marriage, Long marriages is not the goal. Happiness is the goal. What, what's your... Well, if you get remarried, are you repeating school? <laughs> you repeating the course? Is that what it is? Because I mean, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I think she would say it's a new, new. The um, real graduation it's, from marriage it's your, is your master's. My master's. <laughs> <laughs> the real graduation from marriage is communication. That's the yeah. real marriage because yeah. that, that that helps you keep going. Like if you like if we using that concept, you get married. If you're communicating, you can get like. Your, you know, your bachelor's, then your master's, then your doctorate, well, but all this other stuff. But three way communication. Yeah. So it's not just between y'all two. It's yeah. if both of you guys are going to the father. Yeah. Your communication improvement with each other and your communication improvement with God. That's what binds you together yeah. forever. I think so, that's the part yeah. that's being missed when people just speak so loosely about marriage. Do you understand you made a vow with the holy God? You know what I'm saying? Saying mm-hmm. like yeah. no matter what happens. Me and this person gonna work it out. And divorce happens. You know what I'm saying? I believe it's grace. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe you just go out here and just get married and divorced and married and divorced like willy nilly. But I believe it's grace for a bad situation. But to look at it as being a graduation when a vow to God was broken and you got children who now have to try to figure out life with their parents in two different places and yeah. trying to figure out that dynamic. It's, I don't see how you can celebrate that unless. The husband was doing just some diabolical stuff like he yeah. was uh, very promiscuous so he was abusing you in the church which I don't yeah. know what the situation yeah. was but even then it's still a heartbreaking situation it's because so heartbreaking, when you got married you didn't expect it to go that way so I wouldn't say it's a graduation it's but, still more of a disappointment but let's talk about it I think the what, what it sounds like is I wasn't happy so if happiness, I'm not, happiness, happiness, happiness is the goal yeah. happiness matters to me so if I'm not happy then this we should end this. And I'm thinking from a biblical standpoint, that's not that's not grounds for divorce. <clears throat> right. You know what I'm saying? Just being honest. That's not grounds for divorce. I that's, think it's a mask of I think it's a mask of pain, but you say whatever makes you feel good, mm-hmm. so you want to say that to that's, the audience. That's a good point. There's yeah. there's nothing wrong with her finding joy. Cause if she went through it, let's say this guy put her through it. And she wants to see the silver lining of, hey, you know, if, if her answer was God got me through it, it's not how I wanted it to go, but God is God is still using it. There's still a purpose. I know there's something to it, if I, especially if she didn't do nothing wrong. You could still say, like, God has brought me here. It's for a reason. I can't wait to see what it's for. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. That's I'm, I, There's nothing wrong with her being happy, but framing it that way kind of like it kind of goes against what the purpose of marriage is. Is The purpose of marriage is for you to be bound for the rest of your life. That's why it was created. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. created yeah. to bond you forever. So when that doesn't happen, there is something that went wrong. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like there's some, 
sin sin prevailed in some in some sense right yeah, yeah. so whether it be I've, there's people who've gotten divorced for several reasons mental issues with one or the uh, one or both mm-hmm. sin issues with one or both you know yeah. usually in those categories right mm-hmm. so something went wrong even if it's not the fault of each person involved there's still something went wrong but what if it's none of that Sean what if it's just we're in a relationship it doesn't feel fresh I don't know if I want to continue to go I'm in my mind saying I don't know if I want to continue with this man basically using her i don't know if i want to continue with this guy he's the father of my child i love him but right now i just i feel like i have to leave him because i just it's not it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere even though it could be but you just feeling like i just can't do this with him no more my question is have you exhausted every resource to try to repair that marriage have y'all gone through counseling no so have y'all communicated how y'all feeling and what you're going through and even with that I think marriage is an aspect of it that's a crucifixion. Like it's 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 the two becoming one. Like parts of each of you are gonna have to die. Yeah. For the greater good of the yeah. marriage. So it's like, are both of you guys letting go what's necessary for your uh, for your spouse to feel important or to feel loved or to feel like y'all going toward the direction that God wants the marriage to go? Yeah. yeah. And when you don't have an understanding of a godly perspective of marriage, when you just jump into it without understanding what God you that's that's a wrap if you yeah. choose to forgive after that that's on you that's but on you yeah there they have already severed your covenant like they've taken the contract and ripped it yeah, yeah. so if you want to piece it back together and try and fix it yeah. god has grace and he yeah. can fix it and yeah. god done miracles I've and seen we've seen it there's yeah. people in our lives that they, yeah. they've healed from infidelity and things like that but that person has destroyed the contract yeah you have mm-hmm. to either make a new one or try and paste it back together yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah that's real and and I and I think the thing is I I just think I think sometimes we using her situation because I think their situation would have came out if he cheated I guess I don't know unless they really yeah. tight lipped about it but um it, it felt to me like I'm missing out what's out there what's what's what, what's mm. what's my next door neighbor's grass look like you think that's what she said. That that's the vibe I'm getting. I could be to wrong. Me, well, that's to me, vibe. it sounds like she dealt with a lot with this dude. Yeah, it sounds like that's it sounds like I'm he took her through the ringer a little bit, and she's trying to find a silver line. And I kind of feel that, but I just feel like the verbiage that she the used conclusion to, wasn't correct. Yeah, yeah. but un- unless she's trying to say face for him, she might just be trying okay. to hurt him. Yeah, she's trying to look strong. Yeah. You know, that's what they that's what people do. Men, women alike. If you hurt. You don't want to show vulnerability mm-hmm. or show that you hurt to let the other person feel like they took you to this place. Right. So you try to stay strong. Even if you cry by yourself, you don't want them to see it. Right. Especially on national TV with everybody looking, you're going to try to be strong. No, but I mean, I guess I guess that's the, I, giving her the, the benefit of the doubt, I guess that's the grace, not the grace, that's the integrity that she had for him not to throw him. Because anybody else would have been like, yo, this dude cheated, he did this, yeah. he did this. And, and then that's when you'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because I, I, I don't have a problem with her covering for him and saying, you know, if she forgave him and it's just one too many things, I can't stand this anymore because he broke the covenant. Um, I, it's fine for her to find silver lining. It's just the conclusion is not right. That's it. Mm-hmm. 